And action. Ah! Only messing, only messing. This is Ian here from Razor Social, and we're going to talk today about how to generate sales on social media using Prism. So Prism is a framework we come up with uh, about a couple of years ago and it's been quite popular and it shows you how to go from social media like a tweet or a Facebook update all the way through to a sale. So it's P-R-I-S-M. That's like a song. P-R-I-S-M. Okay, maybe it's not. So you want to learn how to go from Prism, P for people, all the way through to M for monetization and make money from social media. I can see money everywhere. Money, 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 money. Okay. But the first thing is you have to build an audience. So is the number of fans and followers important? Well, it depends on if they are relevant or not. If they are relevant, then it's important. This is a tool that can check to see if your fans and followers are relevant on Twitter. It can show you a full breakdown of the type of followers you have. On the right hand side here, I see tech and business, digital marketers, SEO, marketing technology people, social media marketers. They're exactly the type of people that I want. So I'm building a relevant audience. Audience. So the size of that audience, it does matter if it's a relevant audience. But I also need to think about, well, other channels here is like Instagram. Social rank gives me a breakdown on Instagram and I can do all sorts of filters to see, well, what type of followers I have on Instagram. It's great building fans and followers and they're relevant. That's great. But you need to build a relationship with them to get them to take action. If you're not building a relationship with them, well, then they probably won't to do anything. Do anything. So how do you build a relationship with them? Well, content is a great way of building relationships with people at scale. But if you want to build relationships with influencers, you're going to build it on a one-to-one -one basis. So with the different types of influencers, you have the citizen influencer. That's the people in your social media communities. That's where you're sharing content on a regular basis to everybody in the community, which is great if you're sharing relevant content belonging to you or other people. The next is power influencer. These are people that you want to focus on a one-to-one -one basis. Make a list of these people and work directly with them. Celebrity influencers, are there. they're the people that you can't touch. They have too big a following. They're not particularly interested in working with you. So the only way to access them is through the power influencer. But focus on citizen and focus on power. Now, when you want to track people, you can use tools like Agorapulse to track people, the influencers. Uh, Agorapulse will actually identify who are the influencers of your followers and you can track them. So you do need to track them and keep an eye on them. You can also use a tool like Brand24, which is a monitoring tool. And this allows you to use keywords to monitor people across Facebook, Twitter, blogs, forums, etc. So you can start tracking people and start interacting with people that are talking about your brand, either positive or negative. So you build some audience, you build relationships with the audience, you know, we get nice and friendly with the audience. Now what you want to do is drive inbound traffic because we know on social people don't really buy on social media channels. You don't go to Facebook and go, hey, I want to buy something and buy something through the Facebook account. You go over to the website and that's where you buy. So you want to drive people to your site. So how do you drive people? You drive people through social media. You drive people to your blog through, you know, appearing on Google search results. You want to get people to your website. When you get people to your website, here I am, I'm using a blog to drive people to the website. I have social sharing across the top with a plugin called Warfare Plugins. And this really helps to get lots of shares of my content. So when people come to the site, you really want them to share the content. This works really well on desktop and a mobile device. If you don't have it working well on a mobile device, you're losing out on 20% of your shares at least. Then we have some nice imagery here. This is created by Canva. We have it in this format in portrait landscape. I don't know which portrait, land portrait, that's it. Portrait because we want people to share this out on Pinterest. Then we do things like we use opt-in monster uh, within our article to try and build email subscribers. So when you drive people to your blog post, make sure you get people to share that content as much as possible. Okay, now we're on to S for subscribers and social retargeting. When people come to your website, they're typically not ready to buy, especially if they came across you on Twitter or Facebook, uh, you know, or Instagram or any channel. So what you want to do is build email subscribers. If they're not going to subscribe by email. You can still capture the fact that they visit your website and then retarget them with ads at a later stage. When you think about it, you have spent all that money getting people to the website and that's expensive. So you don't want to lose out at this stage. 
So build subscribers using Optin Monster. Uh, Optin Monster is an awesome tool for building email subscribers. So definitely consider using Optin Monster. Okay, so finally now we're on to M for monetization. So once we've built the subscribers, then we can consider how do we monetize and turn that into dollars. So we monetize by building funnels. For example, here you have an email subscribe option on the left. When someone subscribes, they're brought to a page to sell maybe a low cost product, and then they're brought to a page to sell a, a higher price product, or if they don't buy, they're brought to a thank you page. It's an example funnel. So an example where you go from a blog post to an offer to buy, to an offer to buy another product. Or for example, you go to a blog post and somebody subscribes via email, you might have an email follow on sequence after that to encourage them to buy. If you set up goals in Google Analytics, you can go to the funnel visualization section and you can see in the right hand side people stepping through your funnel. You'll see 506 started at this stage, 24 at the next stage, 13 the next stage. You'll see as people start dropping out as they go along your funnel. And to set this up, you would set up a goal in Google Analytics, a destination goal. When you set up the destination goal, you can switch on the funnel option. And here what I can say is, oh, my funnel is that, it, you know, people come to my homepage, then people go to a, a guide page, then people go to a $9 page to buy a guide, then they go to a checkout page, and then maybe there's an upsell after that. So this is just an example funnel that you can set up and then you can track for every single step of the funnel. Here's some tools for monetization. Highly recommend Google Analytics. Definitely use that. Ontraport is a good marketing automation tool. Lead Pages is a good landing page tool for creating your opt-in pages. And Ad Espresso is a great tool for building out your Facebook ads. This could be another funnel where you're driving people on the left from Google social media referrals into targeted content. You offer people to join their email list. If they join the email list, you might throw them up an offer at the end and then you bring them to the thank you page. Uh, at the end here, if they don't join the email list, you might retarget people with ads at a later stage and bring them back into a landing page. If you offer them a product and they don't buy it, you could then retarget with them ads and also follow up with email series and then show them an offer. So the funnels can get quite complicated, but this is what you sort of need to be thinking about is what are these funnels and the steps along the way. So that give you a quick rundown. You think of it, so you're going from P for people, building an audience. You wanna build relationships with the audience. You wanna drive inbound traffic. You wanna build subscribers and social retargeting from that uh, inbound traffic. So you either have email subscribers or a retargeted list. And then M, show me the money, show me the money. <laughs> for monetization. So your monetization could happen through a instant funnel where people are offered a product immediately after subscribe. Or they could be on an email list and there could be an email sequence. Or this email sequence might happen and emails may happen over the next year or two years and they may buy in six months or a year's time or whatever. Once they're on the list and you continue to communicate, you still have the potential to sell products. You don't get too much business by having Twitter followers and Facebook fans unless you drive them back to your website and P-R-I-S-M, that's what you need. Okay, I hope that was valuable. Uh, I hope it was useful. We'd love to see some thumbs up. We'd like to see more subscribers, watch some of our related videos. And that's it. I'm heading off now to get my dinner. S goodbye.